Right, uh, hello once again, one more time. Uh, this is a Lovers Palmyra and preparation of the Lovers podcast show. And these are some of the tutorials that I'm undergoing, uh, being taught and being uh, assisted by Zigo, uh, one of the YouTube and socialized uh, who has been really making some inroads in terms of uh, promoting uh, the, the the Zimbabwean uh, betterment, the Zimbabwean story <laughs> and advocating for better politics and uh, uh, in Zimbabwe uh, so that we have political tolerance in Zimbabwe and also unraveling what will be happening and going on uh, in terms of uh, the Christendom, what happening, what's happening in the churches. Uh, he has been really looking into uh, what the pastors and the churches are saying and doing and uh, uh, commenting on those aspects. So, yeah, um, I reached out to him to give me a hand and he has really been helping me. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do this on my own because it's quite a lot that is involved when it comes to uh, the use of uh, the Zoom H8 and uh, other uh, softwares that you need to do for you to come up with a proper and right recording. So this is just one of the tests. So the podcast is coming shortly. Keep tuned and uh, it's targeting all those people in the diaspora, those who are doing businesses in the diaspora and those doing businesses back home uh, in Africa or in Zimbabwe uh, so that we can discuss what you're doing. So we have to uh, be able to invest in ourselves wherever you are, but primarily to be able to invest back home in Zimbabwe and uh, prepare ourselves to go back to where we came from, to go back to our beloved country. There's no better place uh, uh, than home. As you see, I'm here. I'm here in the way. I'm here in the way. So sure, when I go to the country, I'm shanda. I'm shanda. I'm going to chase benda. Chase. I'm chasing dimbo. I'm chasing. I'm shanda. We work like nobody's business. Twelve to uh, fourteen hours a shift, working tirelessly, and uh, that's the story of our lives. When I'm going to go to the sea, uh, may their soul continue to rest in peace but they were trying to achieve something that they couldn't achieve uh, it's a generational uh, thing that we're dealing with you're living two lives another life back home and another life here that you're living and you have to balance the two and one of the challenges that we face is people think unfortunately when you're in the diaspora that you have made it you have achieved something great and significant in life to some extent, it's not true. To a great extent, it's not true. Uh, to a certain extent, yes, you are able to do one or two things. But to a great extent, you are killing yourself softly. You're dying softly. You will be able to. You're you worn out. You get worn out because of the work here. So many jobs, so many job opportunities. But you are one person. You can't be able to do all sorts of uh, jobs. Uh, just... Uh, being you by yourself so you need to exercise some restraints so you have to invest back home you have to invest your life you have children to look after you have accommodation to take care to think about because accommodation takes more than half of your salary really so that's a huge and big challenge uh, the issue of accommodation and for you to get a mortgage to buy a house it's a tall order it's uh, almost impossible it's really extremely difficult for you to be able to do that and uh, on the other hand you're trying to establish something home and that's really a challenge so we want to talk about all those kind of things those aspects on the podcast if you have a business that you want to advertise if you have a project that you want to talk about entertainment arts music all those kind of things 
will be discussed on the podcast so stay tuned and keep uh, listening and keep uh, your eyes on the ground your ears on the ground and your eyes on the screens <laughs> okay